Hi there, Colin from Woo Ninja here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Uncanny Automator and Thinkific to create amazing automations within WordPress. To get started, I'm going to assume you've already downloaded and installed Uncanny Automator and the Thinkific extension. If you haven't, now would be a great time to pause your video and install them as well. In this particular installation, I also have Uncanny Automator Pro installed. It's recommended for use with Thinkific, but is not essential. Another part we're going to need here is you're going to need to log into your Thinkific dashboard to get some API keys and set up some webhooks. Don't worry if you don't understand what these are right now, I'll guide you right through it. So again, now would be a great time to pause the video, open up Thinkific and log in. To get started, we're going to come over to Automated here on the left hand side and click Settings. And when the settings load, we're going to choose the Thinkific tab here on the top left. In this box, you'll see an API key and subdomain, and to get those, we're gonna transfer over to Thinkific into your dashboard. On the left-hand side here, you should see a key for settings, and if we click that and load it, we'll choose code and analytics here on the top right, and choose API here on the bottom left. This key here is what you're going to need to do, so if you double-click and copy and paste it, and then paste it into the relevant box here, and for the subdomain, this is below, and for my example, it's WordPress-dev. It's important here you don't include the Thinkific domain entirely, only the subdomain, so only the first part here. The next section is for your license key, which you'll have received from Uninja when you purchased the extension. Go ahead and click Save. And when you click Save, click Activate License, which will activate the license for you. The next step we're going to do is to set up some webhooks. And to do that, you're going to need this URL, which is listed above your settings. If you go ahead and copy and paste that, come back into Thinkific and choose webhooks here on the left hand side, just above where you clicked API and over here, click webhooks. This will bring you into the page where you can set up your webhooks and I'm gonna click new webhook. The model is going to be enrollment and the topic is going to be enrollment created. I'm gonna paste in the URL I just received there, clicking save. You'll need to repeat this for every model you wish to use within the Uncanny Automator plugin. So just to show you another one, we'll choose the enrollment again, and this time we'll choose enrollment trial, and once again, paste it in and click save. A full list of the required webhooks is available in our documentation, so I won't go through them all here at this, this moment. However, you will need to add a webhook for each and every trigger you wish to use within Uncanny Automation for the plugin to be fully accessible and working. Coming back over to WordPress installation, I'm gonna choose Automator here, and choose all recipes. And let's just set up a really quick recipe. So click add new, and I'm going to choose a logged in recipe type. So that's if you use logged in for a WordPress site. I'll choose WordPress here. We'll say when a user is created, and the action we're going to have is in Thinkific, we're gonna create a Thinkific account. We're gonna send them a welcome email and set the user password and click save. And to add another action, we we'll click Thinkific again, and we're gonna create an enrollment. So the days to expiry, that is how long the F course access we've done before. I'm going to throw in 366, which is exactly one year. The days to enrollment is going to be zero. We'll enroll them immediately. And for the course, I'm going to enroll them in course B. And of course, I'm also going to put them in my bundle, which is an amazing bundle, and click save. So what will happen in this recipe is when a user is created in WordPress, we'll create an account in the Givic and then enroll them in a course and a bundle. Let's say, for example, you didn't want to enroll them in a course. You just choose the course to none. And in this example, they won't be enrolled in the course, but they will be enrolled in a bundle and click save. Let's now take a look at a recipe where Thinkific itself is a trigger and we create an action within WordPress. To do that, come over to recipes here on the left hand side and click add new. I'm going to choose a logged in recipe, click confirm, and the logged in trigger I'm going to use is when a user completes a Thinkific course. In this particular example, it's going to be when they complete course A, and the action I'm going to take is in WordPress, I will just create a post, just as an example. And what you could do here is where you congratulate the user in a customized blog post or even a customized post type for when they complete the course. Just to give an example of another trigger you could use would be if the user completes more than say 50% of a course. So for example, it's going to be when they are greater than, we'll say 50, and the particular course is going to be course C. So in this particular recipe, when a user completes course A, and when they complete 50% or more of course C, the action here will be to create a post. And once again, that post could also be to send them an email, send them a text, along with the countless other pro extensions you can have within Uncanny Automator. So that's a really quick overview of how to get started with Uncanny Automator and Thinkific in WordPress. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or send me an email directly. 
I can't wait to see the automations you create for your WordPress installation.